finding equipment that works well for you is really a lifelong journey. I change my mind and think, well, gosh, I love this. And then I come back and say, well, you know what? I don't know, this might work better. But understanding what you're looking at helps you make those decisions. In curb straps, we have options. We have some that are rope, we have chain, and we have leather. Chain and leather are the most common, and so I've got one of each here today to talk about it. This, this is just a nice uh, 5 8 inch wide piece of leather. It's soft, it's well oiled. It's going to not stretch, it's been double stitched. It's not going to stretch real bad, but at the same time, it's not gonna bite into this horse's chin that much. It's going to add a fulcrum, it's going to restrict the movement of that bit, which adds to the leverage, but it's not gonna bite into him that terrible much. There's a little give if you need it. When you go to chain, you run out of give. There's not a lot of give in the chain, and the chain's going to naturally have a little tiny bit more bite. Now this one's woven so that it's flat, but nonetheless, it's gonna have a little bit more bite. It's the same width as the leather, so we're talking about splitting frog hairs. I pick up on this and I use it and I feel it and I put it over my fingers here and I try to imagine what that horse is feeling in his chin and I'll put it over the backs of my fingers where there's less meat and more bone and hide, kind of like the horse's jaw and I'll feel that. And I, I come away from that and I think, well, if I have a horse where I think he's not paying attention, maybe I need a little bit more, I'm gonna go ahead and add a chain chin strap it just increases my pressure a little bit. This is where we start splitting frog hairs and start saying, wow, I can, I can make a small adjustment here that he feels much quicker and it comes back to him. I notice in adjustments on bridles, chin straps, throat latches, I see some people that just leave their throat latch super loose, uh, some people that pull them super tight. I see chin straps too loose to do any good and so tight that they're, they're dangerous. I see bits with the horse's mouth wrinkled so far that it's got to be shutting off the circulation to his mouth. I see them with the bit so loose they're falling out of the horse's teeth. You need to find what works best for you and is comfortable for your horse and then work with that. I use a lot of chain chin straps, but I try to avoid any chain that looks uh, archaic or like it came out of a torture chamber somewhere. A good flat woven chain really works nice and it's not that much different from a nice flat workable piece of leather. It's a little bit more and it helps you make those minute adjustments in your training program.